Hey friends, how's it going? This is Donovan Bankhead from Springfield Music, and I have got a super cool trumpet that I want to show you today. Uh, this is from my good friend uh, Antonio over at AR Resonance, and this is the Legera model. Now, a uh, couple things about this instrument. So first of all, you can tell, like, it's just a beautiful looking instrument. And I know there's some people um, that will watch this that um, are wrong, <laughs> that will say the way the instrument looks doesn't matter, it's how it sounds that's important. And I would tell you that that's incorrect. That if you can, you want an instrument that looks amazing and that when you see it, it inspires you to want to pick up and play. Uh, that also sounds great. And in today's world, we can have both. So. Uh, beauty is an eye of the beholder, of course, so for some people, maybe there's other instruments they might find more attractive, but to me, the lines of this instrument are just absolutely gorgeous. I love these ovate tuning slides, and just all of the, uh, the craftsmanship and, and artistry that he's put into making this horn is, a, is exceptional. So let's talk a little bit about it, and I'll uh, also include some links to some of the other videos where I'm talking, going in depth on some of the specific features as well, if you'd like to see that. But, uh, with the Legera model, so uh, let's just address a couple things first. Sometimes people see a horn that looks like this, they assume it's heavy, because uh, like, you know, the early Monet horns and stuff were often really big and heavy and dull. And uh, this is definitely not that way. This is probably the same way, actually this, this is lighter than a box strad. Uh, so this is a lightweight instrument. Uh, the Legera is designed to be basically like the most ferocious, lead horn that Antonio can make. And uh, the way he's accomplishing that primarily is with a one-piece machined nickel lead pipe. Nickel silver is a, tends to be a very bright with lots of brilliance and highs, uh, but also maintaining a, like a nice thick core. And then also a nickel bell. Nickel is notoriously difficult to work with uh, it's a very hard metal. It's very, very difficult to work with. And so this is why you don't see lots of nickel bells, but you can just hear the ring off of that. So let's, let me show you this. I've got this other, another standard trumpet here. So here's the nickel silver AR bell. Hear how it just rings. This is, you know, standard bell lacquer finish from our friends over at Carol Brass. Make great trumpets. Make sure my finger's not touching the bell. Kind of just a general thunk. Um, this is a great trumpet. Um, this one is even lighter than that. Just rings, it's beautiful. Anyway, nickel silver, enough about that. Um, the other thing that this features is this receiver. And this receiver is super cool. So you can do a few different things with it. Um, you can use the included threaded back bore and you can thread the back bore into it. And now you have a back bore that you can put your top on and essentially what happens is this essentially becomes like one piece all the way through. I feel like the efficiency of that gives you roughly 10 to 20% more efficiency. What does that mean? You can play with 10 to 20% less effort and have that translated as energy into the horn. It's probably not 20%, it's probably closer to 10%. But it's still 10%, you know, would you like to have 10% more endurance, 10% more chops? Like, I think that efficiency really helps with that. So that's a really cool feature. If you don't want to use uh, their backboards for whatever reason, maybe you have another mouthpiece that you like to use, this comes with five different variable gap receivers, five different ones of these, and they screw right in like that. This is much easier than I'm making it look like that, and then you can use any mouthpiece. So very, very cool, and you can adjust the gap to make sure you have the desired gap between the lead pipe and your mouthpiece. Check the link for more videos on that.
So that mouthpiece receiver system, super, super, super cool. Really hardly any other makers are doing anything like that. It's a very difficult thing to pull off and do. Um, other things, so you got mixed materials here. You basically have like uh, bronze valve casing, some bronze trim, mostly nickel. And this instrument is designed to be a bright, brilliant instrument that cuts. The other cool feature that this trumpet has is they're using the Ma valve system. And what that's uh, designed to do is to create less resistance when using multiple valve combinations. And if you grab your normal traditional trumpet and play like a low C, for example, and then just start using your valve combinations, working your way down, you will feel more and more resistance as you uh, uh, basically extend the length of the horn and add more valves, okay? Uh, with the Ma valve system, it's designed to reduce some of that. And it's a real noticeable difference. So you just feel less resistance. It also tends to mean that the other valve combinations tend to sound more like the open horn. They don't sound like an open horn, but they sound more like the open horn. So um, anyway, very cool feature with that as well. Um, all of everything on here basically is something that Antonio makes. So even the water keys, he makes that. Uh, it's all of his own design. And just a beautiful, beautiful, instrument. This one also comes with another set of caps and um, it's just two caps and they come in different weights. Let's see if I can properly show you this. And what some people will do is they'll add either a heavier cap here on the third valve or they'll add this on the second and then add the heaviest on the third. And what that does is it uh, makes the instrument just a little bit darker tames down the responsiveness just a bit and gives you a little bit more versatility. Okay, so uh, yeah, so just a few features of the Legera, bright lead horn, super, super nice, reasonably versatile though, okay? And let me try, I haven't played hardly at all. I know people like to say that and then, um, you know, they do something great, but this is gonna be a legit, I have not played uh, in the last couple of weeks. As I'm making this video, it's rental season, which is back to school season for school music dealers, which is what I do for a living. And so I haven't played. But uh, what I will show you here, this is an MSC, one of his tops. So this is just like a, it's a, a, a C cup. You're like your normal, you know, 5C, 3C type mouthpiece. Just a nice, even, totally reasonable sound. Maybe a bit on the brighter side, but it's, you know, totally passable and usable uh, and more or less any ensemble setting. My dog is gonna come join me. So, pretty versatile. And if we take that top off and then switch over to a lead top, this is basically the same diameter mouthpiece, but just with uh, Tony's lead cup on it. I'm not blowing hard at all to get that brilliance and that shine you're hearing. I'm blowing about that hard. So like, I'm not like blowing the walls down and it's just like really, really fills the room with this brilliant trumpet sound. Easy to play, um, uh, sounds great, intonation's great. Overall, just a super, super horn. 
aimed at someone who wants primarily a lead trumpet, but that with the right equipment change can be versatile enough, but definitely aimed for the commercial or lead player. All right, that's the AR Resonance Legera.